That paint chip may be small now, but it can cause some serious damage over time. In this video, we're gonna show you how to fix it so it doesn't cost you a lot of money. When you have a little chip like this and you leave it over time, it's gonna turn into a chip like that. Eventually, you will end up with some rot like this where the paint is starting to flake up underneath. And over time, you're gonna end up with this. So how do you get most of these paint chips in your paint? Most of the time it's from being on the highway and you get sand blowing in your face or even some rocks. Some of the common areas you're gonna find chips on a vehicle is the hood and mostly the front section of the hood area, obviously the front bumper. This one happens to be plastic so it's not as crucial, more of a cosmetic. Up here above the windshield, if you get anything up here over time, that's going to go underneath the windshield and it's not going to be good. And then also on the sides of the vehicle where you could get any of the door dings and scratches from other vehicles. Before you start, you want to make sure you get the right touch-up paint. They make a variety of colors that actually match the color of your car. So when you get that, then you can start. A spot like this has gone pretty deep. It's actually gone past the primer. If you had a spot where you could still see the primer and it was just a little bit of the paint, then you could just scrape off some of the edges if there's any loose paint and then just put a little touch up on. But a spot like this, we're gonna have to scrape out some of the rust. So you can either use a pick like this or if you can find an extremely small wire brush, you wanna scrape as much of that rust out as possible. If you were to use sandpaper, it's not gonna be that easy in a small spot like this. So do the best you can. Just use some alcohol on a wipe and just wipe it off, make sure it's nice and clean. Because this is raw metal, we wanna put a little primer on. So I'm just gonna take a rattle can, spray some into a cup, and we'll just dab the primer on. Now I'll just take a toothpick or a small piece of plastic or something and just dab it in there. That works the best. That looks pretty good right there. Probably a little too much. And then let that dry. And then take the paint. And sometimes the brush that comes with the touch-up paint is a little bit hard to use. You can try to dab it in there but sometimes it's easier, like I said, just use a toothpick. You can spread it around a little bit. It might be raised up above the paint a little bit, which is okay. So that looks pretty good. It's raised up a little bit, which is okay. At this point, you wanna let that dry before you do anything crazy. You don't wanna drive the vehicle around or wash it, or hopefully it's not raining out. You wanna have it covered up at least. At this point, this spot is protected. It's not going to cause any other damage in the future. If you wanted to, to make it look a little bit smoother, you could come back with a wet sandpaper and try to buff it out and hopefully you don't bleed through it and you should be good to go. So looking at a spot like this, maybe this is something that you just happened and you want to take care of it. You want to fix it up before you go to a body shop or maybe you're never going to fix it, but you want to protect your car so it doesn't get any worse. As you can see, there is some rust starting to build up. So the primer is gone from right there and then the other scratches, that's where the paint has just been scratched or the clear coat and it has not gone down to metal on those areas. You want to get any of the loose paint off, you can use a pick or a wire brush. Anything that's loose. And then go back with a little bit of sandpaper and just try to get as much of that rust out. So that looks pretty good. And just again wipe with some alcohol. This is obviously an area that's way too big that you should be using touch-up paint, but this is just to protect it. So we'll just take a little bit of primer, and you could use a brush. Looks good. You might need a couple coats on this. And the goal is just to protect it. 
We'll just go nice and thin right along the scratch. As it gets thinner, you could use your toothpick. So you can see what touch-up paint does to an area like this. Does it look good from up close? No, it looks horrible. But if you step back about 10 feet, it doesn't look too bad and it's actually protected. So if you have any paint chips or bare metal, make sure you touch those up with some touch-up paint. And just think, while you're driving down the road, no one's even gonna notice. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos.